back again. He steps up. He's hit. He stumbles. He is throwing it deep for the end zone, and it is... It wasn't that long ago that the Philadelphia Eagles were atop the NFL world. In 2017, one of the most legendary teams of all time had a season that no Eagles fan could ever forget. Their iconic run to Super Bowl 52 versus the New England Patriots and Tom Brady is something that Eagles fans had been waiting for for over 50 years. In 2017, that finally happened as the Philadelphia Eagles were able to win the Super Bowl, their first one in its history, and solidifying themselves as one of the best teams of all time. Fast forward to 2020, the Philadelphia Eagles looked like a dumpster fire. They looked like everything from that 2017 Eagles team was gone, the magic was gone, and it looked like the Eagles were headed for another long period of rebuilding and disappointing play, and it looked like the Eagles' chances of a Super Bowl in the near future were pretty much gone. Jordan. How you doing? It's Howie Roseman. With the 13th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Jordan Davis. Defensive tackle, Georgia. Another massive move has taken place. The Titans are trading wide receiver AJ Brown what? to the Eagles. Oh, shit, shit. We get our weapon. We get our weapon. We get now. We get it now. Eat shit. Look at these pieces. Defensively, the Kobe Dean. Add to that Hassan Reddick, who we haven't even talked about in James Bradbury. We are going to be good. We are bad. We are bad. <laughs> But here we are in 2022, and the Eagles arguably have the best roster they've had ever since that 2017 Super Bowl season. The acquisitions the Eagles made in the offseason and improvements on the offensive and defensive sides of the ball really give this Philadelphia Eagles team hope heading into next season. And these hopes aren't just for a playoff berth, they are for much more. With training camp just beginning not too long ago, the Philadelphia Eagles look to build every day towards a contender to grow the foundation of this Philadelphia Eagles organization and the players that Howie Roseman has brought in in hopes of winning another Super Bowl title this season. If you just look on paper, the defense has greatly improved from last season. One of the technically worst pass rushes in the league last season has suddenly made new additions and gained players back from injury as this group now features Hassan Reddick, who has the fifth most sacks over the past two seasons in the entire league. Brandon Graham will be returning from injury, and Fletcher Cox, Javon Hargrave, Josh Sweat, all these players will be returning in hopes of having another good season. And let's not forget about the Eagles' first round pick, Jordan Davis out of Georgia, the big defensive tackle who continues to impress in Eagles training camp. This Eagles pass rush is looking dangerous heading into the season. Their probably weakest position group on the field last season was linebacker, and what did they do in the offseason? They went out and addressed that by adding linebacker from the Chargers, Kaiser White in free agency, who had the eighth most tackles last season in the entire league. TJ Edwards has another year under his belt, and he was probably the Eagles' best linebacker last season. And they went out and potentially got the steal of the draft in Kobe Dean in the third round. And he could be a dark horse defensive rookie of the year candidate this upcoming season and they also improved the secondary by adding James Bradbury from the New York Giants one of the best zone coverage corners and best corners in general in the entire NFL and also adding players like Jaquiski Tart in free agency and just adding to that position group in the secondary the entire defense from top to bottom looks so much improved from last season and now let's not forget about the offense obviously the biggest move of the entire offseason for the Philadelphia Eagles was going out and trading their 18th overall pick for A.J. Brown in the 2022 NFL Draft. A.J. Brown will come in and be the Eagles' new number one wide receiver to pair alongside Devontae Smith and Quez Watkins to form potentially one of the most dangerous wide receiver attacks in all of the NFL. A.J. Brown can go up and be a physical wide receiver. He's bigger, he's stronger, and he can run routes very, very well, and he can also be a deep threat for Jalen Hurts. Devontae Smith will continue to improve as the number two wide receiver having last year broken the Eagles rookie receiving record 
and he's probably already one of the better route runners in the NFL, and he will just only continue to improve. And then obviously we have Quez Watkins, who's one of the very fastest players in the NFL. I've already made a video talking about him. You can go check that out after this one if you would like. He, I think, is going to have a very good season for the Eagles as well, and you add players like Zach Paschal to come in here and be a difference maker on the offensive side of the ball as well. You obviously have Alice Goddard catching passes as well at that tight end position, one of the best tight ends in the league. You have a Philadelphia Eagles offense that was number one in the entire league in rushing last season behind that dominant offensive line led by Jason Kelsey, Lane Johnson, Jordan Mailata, and you have the running back combination of Miles Sanders, Kenneth Gainwell, and Boston Scott going into next season. And of course, Jalen Hurts and his rushing ability as well. This offense is looking dangerous next season. And then something that I don't think a lot of people are talking about when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles and their potential playoff outlook and positioning this upcoming season is their Eagles strength of schedule. The Eagles have the second weakest schedule next year. Not to mention their division is also one of the weaker divisions in the entire league. The Philadelphia Eagles are set up for success this upcoming season, especially with this soft schedule. I would not be surprised at all if the Eagles ended up getting the number one seed in the NFC if everything goes according to plan just based off of that schedule alone. Something that we really have to talk about, and obviously this is the main X factor, main thing, main talking point for Eagles fans, main talking point for the main media analysts of the NFL and people on ESPN and all these guys. The biggest question mark on the Philadelphia Eagles right now is the quarterback position, more specifically, Jalen Hurts. The play of Jalen Hurts, will he be the Eagles franchise QB? Will he prove that he can be that guy for the Eagles next season? So far in training camp, it has seemed like Jalen Hurts has struggled, further feeding into the narrative that Jalen Hurts can't throw the football and he cannot be the Philadelphia Eagles franchise QB. I am of the belief that the Philadelphia Eagles can find a way to mask Jalen Hurts' deficiencies. They did it last year by running the football, having the number one rushing offense in the entire league. And obviously Jalen Hurts is one of the better running quarterbacks in the NFL, but the Eagles can only go so far by doing that. Obviously last year we saw they got exposed in the playoffs by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because of their inability to throw the football and the really good defense of the Bucs was able to shut down that Eagles rushing attack. Jalen Hurts is going to have to be able to step up this season if the Philadelphia Eagles are going to make a potential run to the Super Bowl. That's just the facts. Can Jalen Hurts do that? That remains to be seen. We've heard rumors of him struggling in training camp recently. Again, it's just training camp, it's just practice. Offense or defense, one of them is going to win the day. Obviously, you'd like to hear more promising things about Jalen Hurts coming out, but I'm not going to rule out the possibility of him being one of the better quarterbacks in the entire league based off a couple days of training camp. I'm not gonna do that. But let's just say for the sake of argument that Hurts completely fails as the Eagles starting QB this season. He doesn't live up to the hype. He isn't fit to be the Eagles franchise QB. And the entire title of this video saying the Eagles are poised for greatness is a complete lie. It's not a complete lie. And here's why. If Jalen Hurts does fail, the Eagles will simply go out and get a new QB. And they'll still have this entire roster that has been put together around Jalen Hurts for whoever this new QB may be. Maybe we draft a QB, we trade for one, we sign one, whatever it is, whoever it is, we bring them in and we have this great roster around them. Say that quarterback is the guy. As long as they have this core of players, as if you are able to find the right guy to be the quarterback for this Philadelphia Eagles team, they are set up for success down the road into the future, near future and far future because of the amount of younger players that they also have brought into this Philadelphia Eagles team. Whoever that new quarterback is, if Hertz does fail, can come in, step into one of the better rosters in the entire league, and then the Eagles could, again, be a potential threat to make it to the Super Bowl. So for Eagles fans, this is the time to be excited. The Philadelphia Eagles are back. They are back as one of the better rosters in the NFL, and they have hopes of winning a NFL title, a world championship, and having another parade down Braun Street again this season. And like I just said, if Jalen Hurts doesn't work out, we'll have hope for a potential Super Bowl parade for years to come in the future, assuming this roster stays together. The Eagles really are set up for greatness in the near future. But that's pretty much all I got for this video, guys. Let me know what you thought of it. Did you enjoy it? If you did enjoy it, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this and Sixers videos as well. And drop a like on this video to help push it out to other people. And turn on notifications to make sure you don't miss any more of this content. And follow me over on Instagram and on Twitter as well just made those accounts would really appreciate the follow I'm trying to grow over there as well and that's pretty much all i got for this video so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video